All right, new character, new character. Um, let's see here. What options do they have? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, well, this is what I look like. So we'll go with this. Uh, I got sh way shorter hair than that. Um, you got any short hair? Oh, there we go. Boom. I look like me already. Um, hair, that's fine. Beard, I, I mean, I got a little shum. I got a little something something. Um, I guess this. I don't got that much though. That's not, that's, I don't got that much. That's a lot. Right, we'll just stick with that. I'm gonna shave it after the stream. I'm gonna shave it, I swear. Voice. I like this one. Stick with that one. Name. Let's go with, um, Smojo. Smo. Smojo. Let's go with Smojo the third and something. What if we combine like Smojo and Shrouded together? You know what I mean? Like, Shrouded. That sounds dumb. Uh, shm. Shm. <laughs> Smouted. We're smouted. All right, bet. I like this. Smouted. That's my name. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. Oh my god. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it, came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. Holy shit. But from the depths of the well, an unforeseen curse crept into Embervale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. The Flameborn! Now, your time has come. Awake. Awake! I wonder if I'm the Flameborn. <laughs> it's like my name. That'd be kind of cool. I am the Flameborn. All right. Picasso, Picasso, me like you. FPS is good or decent at least. It's not horrible. It's pretty solid. I feel like I'm a little bit too far away from my character. Yeah, this is better camera distance. All right, bet. All right, let's go. Open up. Cinder vaults. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The revel of Embervam has fallen. Consumed by the shroud, now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. So I need a flame altar. Everything does look ruined. Pretty. Ooh, what's this? Harvest. Plant fiber and twigs. There's a lot here, actually. Well, there's only four. <laughs> it looked like there was a lot more. I guess not. Oh, I might have to do something about this FPS earlier because it's not great. Um, I'm not much for reading of lore, so I'm probably not going to read all the books and things that I find, but I will pick them up or read them, I guess. A vast world awaits you filled with secrets in peril. Press I and activate to the map to track your discoveries. Oh, I for inventory. That makes sense. So we're going over there, it seems. Can I break? Mm, 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 mm. Probably need an ax or something. Oh, a chest. I got myself a torch and a bandage and a lot more bandages on here. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can get up there. Probably not. I mean, I don't see like a ladder. Unless there's just a, oh, let me not fall down there. Let me not do that. Let me not do that. Another torch. 
Thank you. It's hella dark. It gets hella dark. Very fast, it seems. Use terraforming tools or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Exploding powder balls can be thrown explosive barrels detonated at range. So it seems like this game has a lot of secret passages. Because they literally in the tutorial set you up for like a secret passage. It seems. That's pretty cool though. What do we get? I got me a hatchet. Okay. Okay. Let me... Move that over. <laughs> so that's there. And destroying things gives you materials. Hell yeah. Okay. And I already got me a weapon, which is good. Anything over this? Doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Oop. I didn't. Nope. Can I just jump down? Huh! Hell yeah. All right. Probably need to pull out my torch. Um, I guess I'll do that. That works. So I can actually see. Oh, they give us another. They give you three torches. They make sure the flame allows you to resist the shroud. But if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. The flame. Are they talking about the torch? Doesn't seem like it because I'm still losing time while I'm in here. So probably not talking about the torch. Oh, that hurts faster. Okay, let me not. Tab to lock into your foes. Control to dodge. I don't think I'm gonna use this tab situation a lot because I don't really like it. Too. That was fast. Okay. Got runes, shroud spores, and torn claws. I guess they're weak. I literally killed them in two hits. Hell yeah. Or maybe I'm just strong. You oh a sword. A rusty short sword. It does 11 damage. This does 11 damage. This one does cutting, piercing, and shroud damage. This one just cutting and blunt damage. And then the maximum durability is different too. I'm gonna put it right next to it. I wanna use a sword a little bit. I wonder how effective it is towards enemies and stuff. Make sure to get these boxes here. So that does four damage. What does this do? That is 10. Wow. Okay. So, um, let me just make sure, right? So it's, that's four. This one is literally 10 damage to like objects. Why? Because blunt. It's probably because of blunt. So blunt damage does more damage to just, even though these both do 11 damage, right? Blunt seems to be more effective towards like, you know, just objects in the world or whatnot. Seems. It's pretty cool. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. I'm assuming that's a return beacon. See, look, that does 10 damage. This does four, so. Yeah. Oh, little messed up looking village here. Looks pretty big. I won't mind exploring it the long keep. I'm already level two. I didn't even do anything. I'll take it though. Bakasu. Um, let's go up here. Knock, knock. No one's home. But I did get this thing that I'm probably just not going to leave. Did I just say don't leave me? Don't leave my side. Oh, God. Sounds horrid. Purple blueberries? Oop. Okay, cool. I thought I was going to take fall damage there for a second. Holy shit, rat. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I didn't even see him. That scared me. That scared me. It's okay, though. I see you. Ha ha. Hell yeah. Can't do nothing about me when I see you, though. Haha. -ha. It seems like destroying things is a good way of getting materials. Because I'm getting a lot of materials from destroying these things. But I don't want to destroy things all day. But it does seem like a good... Am I lost? I think I'm lost. Did I go up here? Oh, yeah, that's the door I knocked on. Okay, go okay. Yeah, so we're fine. We're fine. 
I guess we'll just keep um, pretty much excavating this entire area for resources before we start making our way to the plains. That area is enshrouded. Whoa, oh, I thought I seen something. Another chest, what'd I get? Um, a bandage and a health potion. Okay, let me set this up a little bit. Blueberries give me health regeneration. Water, endurance plus stamina recharge. I don't really need torches like that, so I'm gonna just keep that there. And then I guess that we use a health potion for like really dire situations where you're about to die. What is this one? Bandage is healing per second while this is just regeneration. Huh. Restores 40% health points over 10 seconds. 40% health points over 10 seconds. I guess this is more so for healing. I guess health regeneration and healing is two different things. Interesting. There's a big door down there. I guess that was the way in. Hello. Huh. 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 Oh, I need to test you against my sword. So that does 12 damage, right? Sword does 10. I want to test it again versus like, okay. 10, 10, 10. Okay, so this is really just does 10 damage. The hatchet does 12 damage. I wonder why? Because they both say 11. I guess the, the blunt. I don't know why the shroud is there, though. That is weird. I I don't know. I really don't know why it does uh, more damage. But hey, it does more damage, I guess. So. But maybe I'll just use the sword just to use the sword because these tools do have durability. And I guess this the hatchet would probably be better for just like breaking things inside of areas and whatnot. Water and wooden log. Since the sword sucks really bad at breaking things inside of like buildings or whatnot, so. I hurt. A little. Oh, a chest. Oh, I need a lock pick. Can I craft those? I can. Hell yeah. What's in here? Just a health potion, okay. I don't know if that was worth it, but I'll take it. Thank you. Anything else? So I'm not missing it. It doesn't seem like it. Cool. Um, I guess we'll go this way now. Ooh, ooh, look at all this wood. Ooh, a chest. Bandages, thank you. I do not want to kill the bunny. Seems fast. I need to collect these too, because it gives me twigs and plant fiber. So I got to make sure of that. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate faster. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at all this over here. That is a lot of, lot of stuff. Huh. Anything else over here? It doesn't seem like it. I guess we'll go in this area now because of the shroud. It's over here. Hello. Huh. Huh. Man, that guy was actually kind of strong. It took me a lot of hits to kill him. Even though, I mean, the sword is weaker, though. So there's that. Wooden arrows. Okay, okay, okay. I guess, like, items like this, it might be easier with. Because they don't have that much health to begin with. Get a lot of bandages. I have seven so far. That is a lot. I feel like I'll be able to heal pretty easily. All these bandages. Almost done with the area, it seems. Have I been over here? Yeah, because that's the hole I went down. Okay. So that's the area over there. We got sheep. I kind of want to go to my quest location, though. Or bridge. And that's how you get blueberries. Uh-oh. Hello. Pop, pop. Effective. Okay. 
So sword, I didn't see how much damage I did there. I need to start tracking that. I'm assuming like depending on the weapon you use will depend on how much damage you do to certain enemies or like enemy types. So sword, 11 damage instead of like the 10 or whatnot. And then hatchet, 10 damage. So seems like the sword is better against wolves versus like the enshrouded creatures. The axe was better. Interesting. Car needs stone. I'm just getting like the basic materials because like every survival game, you know, you need the stone, you need the wood to get your basic materials. That kind of just doesn't change. It's pretty universal. I thought I was going to be able to pick that one up. All right. Location reach. Build a flame altar. Flame altar. There we go. And wait. Okay, cool. So you have like little alt things. Boom! You are not alone. There are other... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, you are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Ancient vaults have survivors. Okay, find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby. Beacons nearby. I don't know. Just outside of the shrouds, grass. Okay, so you can upgrade the altar using shroud cores, which increases your building area in altar level. I don't know what the altar level does. You can strengthen the... You can upgrade the altar. You can try... Uh, gain global benefits. Okay. Okay, so you pretty much get stronger because I see an attribute bonus here. Time in the shroud. I don't know what the shroud passage level. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the capacity is. Or how many altars you can activate, I guess. Okay. And you can upgrade the altar to increase the building area that you have. Okay. And then resetting skill points. All right. Cool, 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 cool. What's next? Travel through the shroud. Is it find a sleeping survivor? Was that a side quest? Letter, lo love letter to Queen Jasmina. So the books give you side quests. Right? Or is it lore? General nobles. Or yeah, letter love letter. Okay. Do you get XP for this or something? Or is it just it might just be side quest situation, because I don't see like a Yeah, cause look, rewards there. But inside of lore, there's no rewards, so. But yeah. So we have to find a sleeping survivor. Alright. Um, which means we gotta go up there. Looks like it's about to turn nighttime though, so that's a thing. Honey and wax. I don't know if I wanna go over there. You know, I'll just. I wanna go to the bridge. I wanna go to the bridge. See what's at the bridge. All right, Braylon's bridge. You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Okay. And we definitely don't want to fall down there because that's death. Okay, so we need a grappling hook, and I'm pretty sure you faster. Okay, so we need a grappling hook. Um, we also need to build a base, and we need to go to sleep because it's almost nighttime. It seems. So crafting. Got a workbench and a construction hammer. I also may mean an axe and a pickaxe, because that's probably going to be necessary. Probably a campfire, too. That's going to be good. A shield, a club, and a bow. Or a wand. I want to go wand. This is ice damage. I'm going to go wand. I'm going to go wand. Um, all right. How do I? <laughs> How do I use it? <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to do that. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's. <laughs> we need to build things. All right, we could put our bed down there. And I had my yep, workbench goes here. Um, I'm a well. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. Well. 
I actually don't know. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, this will be fine. We'll put it... Right here is fine. Well, right... Right there is fine. Nice. All right, cool. Um, And we need a grapple hook. The creation of the grapple hook is... Metal scrap, string. So we got the metal scrap. It's straight. We just need the shroud swirls and a string. String we can get while traveling throughout the world. In the meantime, should I make a club? There's 11 blunt damage versus this guy, which does 11 damage, but it's half in blunt, half in cutting. I say I just keep that and not go club. Um, I feel like that would just be better. In my opinion, I could get a shield. Potentially. Or I could get a wand. I I've never used a wand before. I'm gonna get the wand. I'm gonna get a wand. And I'll just rock this. I don't have enough. Well, what do I need to make the... Uh, this armor? It's just string and torn cloth. So I just need a bunch of string. Because I have enough torn cloth for all three. So I just need a bunch of string. Okay. I mean, we could do that too. Um, I don't need any of these sword situations here. That'll be fine. And then this guy can go there. That's nice. And then you could just go back in my backpack. And it's morning. I hear the crows or the roosters. And then, um, what was I? There was something else I was going to do. I forgot. Completely forgot. Oh, well, I need string. So I'm going to do that. Never used this before. Oh, so the... The sword or the hatchet, it's like melee or ranged, I guess. What is that? Oh, those are fireflies. But yeah, so I can use the wand as much as I want for magic attacks. And then the staff needs ammo. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I thought it was morning. I heard a crow and... Oh, look at the moon. That thing is moving fast. I heard a crow and everything. It's not even morning. Morning! All right, cool. So, I'm gonna go over to that location that I saw earlier. Which I believe is somewhere over here. Forget, I also need to collect the plant fibers while I'm going over here so I can make my armor on my way back. My way back home. Making my way back home. Not yet, though. Not yet. What's this circle thing? Oh. Oh. That was easy. That was a lot easier. Huh, huh. It does have range though, which is, you know, the problem. And it's kind of interesting how you can't, you don't really aim with the, the wand. Like it just auto aims for you and they're, I don't know. I don't know if I like the wand. Considering like the range limitations that you have, it's kind of meh. But then again, if there was no range limitation, then it would be kind of overpowered since it auto aims for you. So, I understand why they did what they did. Destroy it! There we go. A, a treacherous chasm, you need a grappling hook to cross. I can just jump. Crap. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll try it again. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ugh. Hell yeah, there we go. Oh no, what happened the first time? Wooden arrows. I feel like I should go bow. I have arrows. <laughs> like, that's a thing. But I want to be a wizard, Hetty. And Harry never used a bow. So why should I? Any bogeys? We got a wolf. Ooh. And that guy. He looks scary. I'm gonna pop a blueberry, get my health regeneration up, just in case. Holy crap. Oh, he hurts. He hurts. He hurts. He hurts. He hurts. He hurts. Bandage? Where is he? Okay. Effective. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Who? Oh, what's up? Yes, sir. 
Hey, I'm too good at the game. Where did where'd that wolf go though? Oh, there you are. I oh, see, I can't even hit him because he's so far away. And he's so strong! 78 damage? Nah, that's disgusting. 78 damage is insane. Hello? I, you know, I thought I, could, I was going to be able to tank at least one of them. But holy crap. 78 damage. That's pretty... That's pretty nasty. Alright, Mr. Wolf. I'm almost there, but I'm back for revenge. You and your 78 damage. I got to learn how to, like, swap weapons fast. So I can, well, can I block with this? Yeah, you can't block with the wand. Okay. No blocking with wand allowed. I don't think I'm also not a fan of, like how there's range like limited like the limited range you get on the wand is very limited but it i feel like if it wasn't very limited it wouldn't be as good <laughs> or it'd be too good at that point what did i need again for the grappling hook i honestly forgot but this thing is giving me a lot of plant fibers so maybe it's a good thing i forgot because now i get a lot of plant fibers which i'm gonna need for sure Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh. <laughs> he just broke all his freaking everything. So many arrows. It's like the game is telling me use arrows, <laughs> use arrows or suffer or something. That was a lot of metal. Got two metal scraps from that. Hell yeah. All right, I'll take it. Can I, uh, thank you. Do I need to be at home to make the, I think I do. Yeah, I need to be home to make the, um, the grappling hook. Unfortunately, I can make my rags now. That would have probably helped having that physical resistance. I should make this now, right? Yeah. Damn it. I need... What do I need? Oh, my backpack's full. There we go. Boom! I'm full armored up. Well, not, not full armored, but more than, more than I had when I started, you know? All right, I'm a fast travel home. Just so I can see how I can make that grappling hook because I honestly forgot. Okay, so to make the grappling hook, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I need the shroud spores. Okay. I also need the string, which I, I should be able to. Yeah, that should be all the string that I need. Yeah, so now I just need shroud spores. Can I make a storage while I'm at it? Probably gotta be in here. Yep. Gonna need more string, but at least I have something to put my items in. So when I die, they don't just lay there, I guess, you know? Um. Boom. Oh, it's full. <laughs> I'm just gonna put everything in there. All the resources just go in there. Anything, I, well, I guess honey, I can take that. Um, you can have the plant fibers. I think that's good. All right, cool. Okay, so now I need shroud spores. There is a shrouded area over here. I wonder if you can only get shroud spores from shroud areas, because I believe you get shroud spores from killing enemies. Hello. Hello. Huh. Thank you. Oh, he didn't give me any shroud spores. Come on. Oh, there we go. Damn, look at that range. The range you have to be at in order to use this thing is very close. Anyone else? No. What do we have in here? Hello. Okay, you got a buddy. No, stay on him. Here we go. 
and you are dead. Oh, dead. There you go. Give me some shroud spores. There we go. Heck yeah, I like the shroud spores. Oh my gosh. That's a thing. Okay. I know I shouldn't be in here, but I'm in here in anyways. Let me get out, actually. And I'm a soup. Boom. Boom. All right. Who's in here? No one's in here. A chest is in here. Shots for us. I'll take the bandages. I like bandages. What's that? Thank you. I wonder if I could just get shroud spores as a pickup from one of these. Or does it have to be from an enemy specifically? Seems like it's got to be from an enemy because I am not getting a single thing of shroud spores. Pretty cool though, okay. All right, how many shroud spores do we have? We got five, actually. That's not bad. We got five from that. Let me get this plant fiber over here. That is important. I might have enough to make the grapple hook now because I believe I had two at home. Or four. Yeah, that's definitely enough to make the grapple hook. So now I just need to... Oh my gosh, I'm short one. Short one spore. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What else do I need? Um, String and metal scrap. Okay, so yeah, we just need the spores now. So... I keep going this way. I suppose. Because I feel like I just need to go inside of a shrouded area realistically. And get me like one, literally one spore and I'm solid. I gotta go down here. There's like a camp down here. Huh! No enemies though. But, oh, no, no, didn't want to do that. A chest with spores. Nope, no spores. Okay. Almost. This chest has it. Nope, nope, nope. Man, I'm about to make me a bow. <laughs> okay, there's definitely got to be enemies here. What did I say? Stay on the path, lest the shroud can take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Stay on the path. Stay on the path, it says. I don't know if that actually helps you or not. Maybe, like, the better bow you have. Not bow. Maybe the better, like... Oh, there we go. And I got a ring. Hell yeah. Maybe the better wand you have, the more um, range it has. Let me see if that's a stat on here. Nope. Overcharge, durability, regeneration, attack speed. Nothing saying anything about range. So I made a range actually does not increase. I wish it did. That would be nice. Huh. Huh. I gotta eat all of this stuff. Which reminds me of Fallout. Or Seven Days to Die. I feel like it's a loot heavy game instead of a farm heavy game. Which is not bad actually. I'll search this. What is in here? I have nails. I don't mind having nails. I like nails. Nails is good. All right, that's enough. And let's go home. And now I can make the grapple hook. Um, I could make me another storage as well. 
We'll see, though. Boom, boom. Equipped. Thank you. And then I could just put all these items inside of here. Oh, yeah. I forgot I got a ring. Hey, I got my campfire, too. I need to put that down somewhere. What if I did rock a bow for, like, backup? Because I have so many arrows right now. Well, the wand is infinite, though. So maybe it wouldn't be smart rocking a bow's back up when the wand is literally infinite. Okay, that's good. And we can just equip the... What does that ring even give me? I got stamina and health. Stamina and health. So it literally increases your stamina and health. I thought it was like... You know, maybe like a primary, but it's a vital. Health, mana, stamina. Okay. Damn, sneak attack damage is plus 900%. Merciless attack damage. Pretty much do double damage when you sneak attack. That's pretty crazy. Well, that's a lot more than double. Nine times the damage when you sneak. Wow. That's nutty. All right, let's go over to the bridge. Here we are. And... Ha! Hell yeah. Did I just double jump? I swear I just double jumped. It's, wait, hold up. Let me do that again. I was on the ladder when I did it, though, so... You can double jump off a ladder. You can double jump off of ladders. I don't know if that's intended. You can jump off a ladder and jump... Well, I swear I just did it. You can jump off a ladder and jump again, it seems. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, ah! Ha, ha! Like that, that's cool. Maybe it is intended, I don't know. First time I've done it, though. Huh. I wonder if there's anything down there. Oh, I was expecting something to be, like, inside that little area or whatnot uh oh let me up there we go oh not not too far up <laughs> i'm not trying to fall off or anything that would be bad what you got metal scraps always a good thing huh. hell yeah can i hit these oh yeah does it auto lock onto the oh so it just auto locks it's like a seeking projectile that's kind of cool though this shit went far oh enemy where you at oh yeah oh yeah what's up what's up miss me ah uh. Ah, uh, dead. Uh, and you still hit me, even after death. I like the commitment. Ooh. Ooh, a potion. Elixir. 30% damage and in a maximum time in the shroud. But what if you're not in the shroud? You just have that 30 uh, damage boost. Not bad. And I gotta go up to the left. Hey, Neem. Okay, 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 okay. Where the enemies at? Hey, buddy. Huh. Effective, effective, effective. Some wand situation is nice. Is this one of you or oh? Oh, I miss. Excuse me. That's kind of crazy. Oh crap! It's nighttime. Crap. Well, I gotta wait. Crap. I went AFK for too long. It's nighttime now. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go through this building situation anyways. It's not nighttime in there. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, bro. How about yourself? Oh, enemy. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Huh. Huh. 
I do not like how close you have to be to these guys. And you can miss. I just realized that. If the enemy's going too fast at you, the projectile might go behind the enemy. You might miss. So that's a thing. Awaken my survivor. Aswald, Anders, the blacksmith. And I got a summoning staff. Good, just tired. Oh, I work, I'm assuming. Work makes everyone tired. I wonder if I, if, I, if I destroy this, what it gives me. I don't feel like being here all day. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Ah. Oh, crap. I need a locksmith. Lockpick. I just feel tired today. I don't know why. Honestly, it'd be like, ooh, look at this hatchet. It's a... That's a rare. So I can upgrade it and get more cunning damage. Cunning damage and blind damage. Cool. But honestly, it'd be like that. Unfortunately, but you do have those days where your body's literally tired for no reason. <laughs> it's weird. And blunt damage means that I can destroy um like items faster. Or like like out in the wilderness items faster. I think. Hello. Oh, wait. I have to put him down, which means I have to craft the summoning staff, and I need twigs for that. Twigs. There we go. There we go. Put that back. I'm going to keep my lockpicks on me, and I'm going to use this new hatchet instead. Cause it's better it does the same amount of damage but at least it has like that two 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 which means i can increase the damage by 17 if i do that should be pretty damn good i think oh crap <clears throat> i forgot my campfire i gotta put my campfire down i'm gonna put it put it right next to my bed turn my bed on fire start a house fire right not and aswald you you can go. You can go right in the middle. Oh, yes, yeah, Sersky. Let's get it done. Crafting my first gear, cleansing fire, well rested. All right, what do we got? One-handed weapons. I can get me old. Oh, yeah, these do a lot more damage than my hatchet. Even if I do upgrade my hatchet, I'm still doing what 16. So I should probably get the. I'm gonna get the spike club just because of that blunt damage. I think I value blunt damage over um, cutting damage and stuff. So I'm going to do that. And then we also got a new set of armor. Um, new pickaxes, new axes. We need a lot of metal scrap for that, though. And then we also got the forge plus a charcoal kennel. <clears throat> is this game new? Yes, this is called Enshrouded. It came out like less than a week ago, I believe. All right, let's check our journal. So we have to forge a weapon. That's one of the things. And then we also have to clear the elixir well. Okay. So the elixir well is... Where's the elixir well? What's that? Clear it. Okay. So that's forge a weapon. Which we already got him over in that area, right? That's where we got him? No, we got him here. I don't know what that is. But I haven't forged a weapon yet. And then we also got clear the elixir well. So let's make that... Um, what, what was it called again? The Spike Club. We need nails and we need wooden logs, which means we're going to need this, this, that. Power World is better? Yeah, Power World is pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen gameplay of it. I just prefer games like this versus like that, <laughs> if that makes sense. <clears throat> um... So should I just salvage this then? How much do I get from salvaging? 21. I get 21 from salvaging it. So I guess the higher rarity an item is, the better or the more you get from salvaging it. But this is level 5. This one's level 1, right? So I think I'd rather have the level 5 versus the level 1 item. To be honest. And it's fast too. Which is nice. Alright, cool. Do I get a new quest? I do. Glider. 
So now I have to create the glider. An arc with that one Pokeball. Oh yeah, I know exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I really thought you would enjoy it considering how much you play Arc. Yeah, I played Arc a lot and Power is pretty much Arc Pokemon. This game is more like Valheim than Arc for sure. I don't know. I just like the. This might sound dumb, but I kind of just like the more realism of this game versus Power World. Like if we compare realism of Power World versus this game, Enshrouded is more realistic than Power World. I don't know. Weird. I just I'm gonna play Power World. Though. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. It's probably really fun. That's whatever. All the everywhere. That game is everywhere. So I'm pretty sure that game is like mad fun. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Looking good. So for the glider, I need string, animal fur, and shrouded. So I need shrouded wood, which I'm pretty sure you get that inside the shroud. Animal fur and string. I should have that. Yeah, string, boom, animal fur, boom. So yeah, I just need the shrouded wood now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just clear this elixir well then. How do I make this stuff? Metal scraps. So I need shroud wood. So shroud wood. This one I don't need shroud wood for though. It's just a bunch of string now and torn it. cloth. Boom. Boom. This should help me a lot, I believe. Is that hope? Did not mean to do that. Um, where are you? Okay. So now we got a little bit better armor. Nope, did not want to do that. A lot better, actually. It's like double the stats, right? What is this one? 15 versus 11. Kind of is double the stats. At least the chest piece was. That's for sure. And every time I see you go AFK on the stream with those clips, that one where you left me to die in the creep. <laughs> Why are you not trustworthy? <laughs> this shit was hilarious. That clip will forever be a legendary clip. For sure. I think the only thing I need now is string. Boom and boom, done. Got myself the new full set of armor. Nice, we can go ahead and sleep as well. Woo! All right, <clears throat> setting out on a new adventure to the Enshrouded. <laughs> 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 